veggie chili with all the fixins. So now I've got one pound of baby bella mushrooms and I'm slicing up some. They're gonna add some texture. But I also want feeling of ground meat. So that's where these guys come in and the stems. So we're gonna go over here to our food processor and add all the stems in. And then we're gonna just break up the mushrooms. And we're going to give this a little pulse until it's like this nice kind of meaty consistency, like a ground meat. And the food processor does all the work. So I really want it to break down. There we go, okay. Gotta get that pan heated up. I wanna get a little veggie oil in there. Just coating the bottom of the pan. Okay, we'll get the mushrooms in. And what we want to happen with the mushrooms before we get anything else in there is to really have them release their water. So we're gonna add some salt. Give it a nice little stir. We're really gonna start building now with onions and peppers and all those typical flavors that you find in chili. First things first, I'm gonna chop this onion. I especially love chili for entertaining because you just put all these great toppings out and then people can choose what they love and they have the base of the chili. Give this a quick stir. Yes, it's really releasing all the water. It already smells so good. I love the smell of sauteing mushrooms. It's a really good base for a veggie chili. And I'll start adding the onions in. All right, next up, some celery. And I like to use the tops and all the leaves too. Use the whole thing. Celery has that great flavor, even when it's cooked down. Okay. Give it a quick stir again. All right, let's get into the peppers. I love red and orange peppers. They're a little bit more ripe, so they're a little mellower and a little sweeter. They really cook down beautifully. This chili is all about texture. You want nice, big pieces of veggie. Red pepper time. One orange pepper, stem and seeds removed and chopped. So see how these are nice and big and chunky? We're gonna keep that up. Poblano time, it's a nice mild chili. It's a little spicy, but not too spicy. We're all really great cooks. We really are. We all have it in us. We're gonna get a little bit of salt on here again, because it's been a while since I salted it. Mix it up again. Looks really beautiful, so colorful. Now let's get some cilantro stems in there. We're gonna use cilantro, the leaves, for the garnish, but I don't wanna waste the stems because there's a lot of flavor in these stems. Okay, and I'll save these leaves for garnish. We got all our garlic, just four cloves. Just go ahead and grate it right into your Dutch oven. It's called a Dutch oven because the Dutch came up with this. It's really great at maintaining heat. It's a perfect size for nice big meals. Here we go. Okay, there's all of our garlic. Give that a quick mix. Oh boy, that smells good. As soon as that garlic hits the heat, it smells amazing. Okay, our classic flavors. We're gonna start with a tablespoon of chili powder. And we really just wanna flavor all of the veggies before we put any of the liquid in. Smoked paprika. The smokiness and the color really help the chili along. Okay, this is the cumin. I'm gonna a couple teaspoons of this. All of a sudden, it's smelling like chili. Two teaspoons of ground coriander. I just wanna toast the spices before I start adding in the tomatoes. Oh boy, that smells so good. So let's get some tomatoes in there. Some crushed, and this is gonna really make for a nice thick sauce. But I also wanna add some more texture. So we're gonna put in some chopped tomatoes. So I really like to see the tomatoes in my chili. Another stir. So we want this to come up to a nice little bubble, a simmer, and that's how all the flavors really blend together. Okay, one more little dab of salt. So time to chop up the zucchini, and I want these to have a little heft to them because I wanna see them, and I don't want them to cook down too quickly. So we're gonna keep them kinda on the thicker side. Okay, so let's get that zucchini in there and the mushrooms. So we'll just let this chili simmer for about 30 minutes. Got some drained black beans and pinto beans. 
and some frozen corn. Oh, yeah, baby. Give this a quick stir, turn the heat down. Look at that beautiful chili. Okay, all the beans in. And those don't need to cook, they're already cooked. They just need to heat up. Then we have some frozen corn. Just go ahead and put it in frozen, it'll thaw out in the chili. Now we just need all of these veggies to come to the right temperature, get heated through, and it's ready to serve. And I have all these great little fixings. We have some sour cream, some chopped onion, some avocado, some more cheese, some of those cilantro leaves. And I'm also gonna grab some tortilla chips and we have the perfect meal. Wow. It's got all kinds of good veggies in there. Fantastic, Val. Mm. Wow. You have such nice vegetables in here. That's what gives it that kind of like meatiness and you don't miss the meat at all. 